Welcome back to another Minecraft episode of Let's Play on Survival. My is the Expendable Kiwi, and I have some news for you. Look at this. Introducing Expendable Kiwi 2.0. So this skin I edited off of a uh, creeper hoodie skin. I changed a lot of stuff on it. Mostly because it came to my attention that my old skin was a dragon and... My name's Kiwi. The two things don't really go well. In fact, I'm pretty sure the Kiwi would beat a dragon in the fight any day. Just a Kiwi green dragon would not happen because Kiwis and dragons, mortal enemies. But I am a combination of both, and they're both cool. Kiwi roots here and become Kiwi 2.0. So there you go. I've got the green hoodie, the blue eyes. I actually do kind of have like dark blue eyes. It's really weird. My eyes are gray, but whenever I wear something blue, they look extremely dark blue gonna plant more sugar cane oh and that's where I forgot a lot has happened since you guys last watched or last saw me in this map I have a bunch of cows here that I am breeding I have a you touched my potatoes no rabbit touches my potatoes it gets away with it Shh. anyway so, I've got a nether portal, because I found diamonds down in our mine shaft. I got sugar cane growing here. I got an enchant table back in my house. I've got cows. I've got crops. I've got endless amounts of food. I haven't gone hungry in so long. I've got an MLG water bucket. Probably going to goof that up. Yep, goof that up. And I screwed all my torches. I'm sorry, torches. But anyways, I found diamonds all the way down there. That's my mine shaft down there. Oh, I'm so pumped. And now we get to do some exploring, since I have a compass pointing at where I spawned. Ah, oh, I was so excited I started choking. So, now we get to explore it. We also have Billy the Pigman. And a creeper who decided to try to blow us up early. Good for you for trying to get a head start there, pal. Uh, actually, I don't want to fight you guys. I'm just going to run past you. I should try to get a music disc, though. Music disc isn't going to help towards the end result of... Defeating the Ender again, Wither and whatever the 1.9 boss is. I'm also hoping to find an ocean. Okay, that was really weird. I don't know what was going on with him. Uh, an ocean temple or sea temple. I don't exactly know what they're called, but I do know they're in 1.8, and I'm super excited to try to find one. Hey, cows. I'm sorry, but since you are not at my farm there's no reason for me to keep you alive this is so weird all right so we have a way back and we're gonna oh my god there's a lot of cows whole I guess one could say this is the land of holy cows I get it cuz there's a lot of cows, like a holy amount, and I'm also stabbing them, putting holes in them. No, you, you don't. You don't get it. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. But oh well, it was a good pun. You just didn't understand it. It's actually a horrible pun. I love this resource pack. You can see underwater so clearly. The water is just oh, so clear. I'm not really sure what is going on with these mobs. Oh, chickens! I'm sorry, I need to kill you for your feathers. Because I need your stuff. I need your feathers for arrows. It's the only reason I killed you guys. I don't even want your XP. It's such a minuscule amount of XP. Oh, sheep! Cool! I can make a bed finally. Oh, and there's mutton. Oh, this is great. I should have taken them back. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. I can always find more. Sheep are like me. They are very expendable. We're also going to make some banners to hang up. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, there's an Enderman. We're going to fight him. Oh, this could get me killed fighting an Enderman with these mobs doing what they're doing. But no matter... Uh, come here, bud. Yes, you got wrecked, but he didn't drop an ender pearl, which is what we needed. Oh, he did. Yes. Thank you. All right, now, the last piece 
towards getting the direction of the end portal. Okay, you can go ahead and blow up. That's nowhere near my land. There's another cow. I'll leave you over the mountain cow. Mountain tree cow. So the last step is finding a blaze rod, which I did go to the nether. I tried recording, but my computer kept screwing up. And Fatal error. Oh, hey, mountain cow. You, you do you, mountain cow. It's a good day to be you, because you get to live! I probably should have tried to water bucket that. Like that. Oh, that was so MLG. I just need to keep... Whoa. 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 What is going on here? That place was weird. So we need to just keep going. I really don't like exploring because I always fear that I'm going to lose my house and then I have to start all over. And It's going to be depressing if that's the case, but oh well. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of the coordinates on the map. Oh my god, cow, they run so fast. So who else thinks zombies in 1.9 are going to be very interesting to fight? I heard... I haven't played 1.9 much other than gone in a flat world in peaceful mode and looked at the different stuff that they've added as far as items and weapons. I'm really liking the arrows. Cows, you should be dead. I'm sorry, but you're dead. Ooh, Spooter. Ooh, dang, Spooter, you're fast. But, uh, like, I really like the spectral arrows and the... Uh, what is it? Potions on the arrows. Those those are pretty cool. Ah, oh, it's a tree cow. I can't kill him. He's a tree cow. What is squids? Oh my god, you look really weird. Is that a... That looks like a dick. It looks like squids have four dicks on them. That That's good. That's great. Oh my god, I found Mordor. Just the way the lava looks, it looks like this place is mortar. Oh, okay, so I know where pigs are, so I need to make a monument showing that I know where these that these pigs are here. So I need to get these fellas back to my place, and that'll get me more food. But I'm not able to do that till I get a slime. So for now, do something like that. Go like this. Wrong thing. Show my cords, and then I can always refer back to the video to find these cows again. Ow. Okay. So, let's go this way. I want to find another Enderman, because I'm going to need a lot of Eye of Enders if I want to meet my deadline for... Being able to get to the end dragon. Or the. Yeah, that's alright. The end dragon. Ender dragon. I don't I don't know what's going on with you, man. I was like up in your face. Up in your grill. Smacking you in the nose with the sword. And you just didn't move. I also like how the zombie villagers look now. They've been. For those of you guys who don't know. They have been redesigned. So now they actually look more like a villager. They've got like the, uh, they've got like a torn suit and area that looks like bite marks. That spider's able to hit me from really far. Ah, uh, but anyways, they've got like tear marks where it looks like they've been eaten. I'm gonna keep the stringer bow. Normally I throw that stuff out, but I have changed since I've last played survival. Played, played. Okay. Oh, more chickens. Hey, guys. Hey, buddies. Could you guys drop some arrows or feathers? Please. Thank you. I didn't even pick them up. Okay. This way. I just know I'm gonna need a lot of arrows to fight the end dragon. I'm also debating of doing this series like uh 
multiple versions of it, but with, like, mods. Oh, my God, yes, it's a village. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, my God. Should have brought my emeralds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, there's more sheep there. Oh, my God. There's no blacksmith, though, and that's the only thing I'm really interested in, other than pillaging your potatoes. Look at you, sir. You are... What do you have to trade me? What? Alright, 40 rotten flesh will get me an emerald. Or 9 gold will get me one emerald. Well, since rotten flesh is about useless... 37, though. Or 10. What is with... What is... Are... <gasps> villagers the real cannibals? Do they not actually... <gasps> oh my god. They all want either gold or... Rotten flesh for an emerald. Like, what do they need rotten flesh for? Are they witches? Or... Are they actual zombies? Is that how they're surviving this apocalyptic world? They're not actually eating the food they plant? Well, I'll be taking this. You don't need any of it. You are sad. I'm gonna grab the bookshelves while I'm here. Look at those 3D bookshelves, man. They're messing with my head. But they're awesome at the same time. Puts three books in a bookshelf. Automatically gets like 40. Dang, Steve. You got that magical skill, but I'm Kiwi. I'm not Steve, so. What is it with all these purple dressed ones 38 oh my god they all went rotten flesh is that a horse <gasps> that's a horse they all want rotten flesh what the hell that's so weird um i'm gonna find my phone real quick so i can google this crap and find what i need on how to make a saddle. I don't know if you can. Yeah. But they can be caught with a fishing rod. So I'm going to need to find a villager here. And I'll trade for one. No, no senor villager there. There's a church here. No, you just... <sighs> Come on, one of you... This guy's the only one with the white robe here, and he's... Oh! A book and nine emeralds. Ah, I wish I had nine emeralds. My emeralds. My, 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 my emeralds. I really want a horse, but I need to find a dungeon or a mineshaft or temple or... Something like that. Possibly another village. Oh, chicken, come here. I don't know why the mobs are lagging, but oh well. Pick up any... Oh, no, I threw a book. I just love my new skin so much. Okay. So, I'm gonna keep... That's not a ravine. Is that a rabbit? That's a little rabbit. Oh, look at the little rabbit. You'll find a rabbit. Stab. I don't... Th seriousness. Sorry, seriousness. That should kill him. Like, that should kill a rabbit. A rabbit could not... Rabbits barely survive disease. And then there's the fact that grass is growing on sand back there. And I'm gonna ignore that. And just keep talking about how a rabbit should not survive being... Stabbed once with a sword. There is really nothing here, is there? Might as well start making a circle and head back. It's really cool land, though. Like, land formations. Like, the fact that that village is right under a mountain. It kind of makes me want to build a, uh, huh, castle in the mountain. With a bunch of, like, big dwarf strat yeah, statues out front and then burn down the village. Anyone get the reference? Right now, just comment, I got it, if you understood the reference. 
Like, do not wait. You must type it now. Write McFudgeon now. Because I want to know who all got that reference. Oh, yep, it's my phone. Hang on, guys. Be right back. All right, we're back. Sorry, guys. I had to go check on my rabbit. Little fat furry thing doesn't even like me holding him, but I still feed him. Don't ask why. Stab. Stabity stab stab. Mm -hmm. Stab. I got a lot of feathers. This is nice. No, I just need a lot of flint. I used to always hate having to make arrows until I realized how easy it was to make them. Like, I was like, oh, but it's going to take forever to get the materials. It took me like five minutes to get enough materials to make a stack of arrows. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a lot more. Because you get four per arrow thing, which is weird. But whatever. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I don't know what it is about resource packs. Sorry, I was yawning. But, like, I used to do horrible at PvP, and every time I find a good one, if I use it for, like, one or two games, get used to the textures, I all of a sudden become amazing at PvP. Like, this one, I used to suck. I used to use, like, an edit of Grape Applesauce's texture pack, and now I use Infinite, and I'm just like, Kapuya! Just absolutely ravaging everyone with... Oh my god, it's just like so amazing. As you might have saw in my last one, it makes aiming bows easier, all of that. So I'm probably going to uh, edit this to be the Kiwi edition. Don't really know how, like, what I will edit on it. But I'll probably edit uh, potatoes to be Kiwis. I don't know, how do you change the name of something? Uh, I'll probably look that up. I'm going to make my own resource pack. This is going to be a thing, guys. Hey, there's Mordor. Bet you 50 bucks. That's the mountain that I yelled Mordor when I saw it. Oh, my God. Get up under there and then to there. Thank you. I don't know why I'm doing this, but... Boop. Boop. And just ride it all the way down the mountain. That's one MLG way to use a bucket. Another MLG way to use a bucket is a quick little elevator. If you can time yourself right. Give me that. So I can do that. Give me that. So I can do that. Sweet. That's one way I use water buckets. I use water buckets when falling. I use water buckets going down a mountain. And I use them to climb stuff quickly. Also, it helps. It is also very good when in a UHC that you do this because what happens is um, if you do something like this it knocks a person who's chasing you down like it slows them up greatly so you have time to run but you can also do that to kind of make it easier to get down a mountain it will slow you down so I wouldn't suggest using that when running from someone but it might help because if they hit you and they try to get you to eat fall damage you won't. But yeah, just see, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So easy. And then you just hit the ground and go running. I really want to record a UHC, but I am so bad at it. I've only got a few. I don't think I've ever lasted to the deathmatch. Just because I'm not used to it. I don't really know what to do. And I hate the part where you don't regen except through gapples but, or potions. Now that I think about it, though, I've never seen anyone go to the nether. In a UHC on Mindplex. Like, me and my friends, we play it sometimes. Usually, though, I end up having to leave so someone else can join. Which kind of sucks, but... At the same time, I don't care, because some... I do like the flower power UHC and the speed UHC. Those are actually pretty cool. But, like, yeah, the, as far as playing... uh regular UHC it's it's hard I'm not used to it tempted though to start playing it more uh, once of course once I get my broadband I don't know if I told you guys about that once I get my broadband out here 
I'm going to be playing a lot more of games, just period. Because right now, I use a hotspot on my phone to play games. So, I'm pretty sure we're checking it out this weekend, the broadband. Since it's unlimited, and we get um, pretty good coverage by Verizon out here. I'm pretty sure we're going with Fios. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to do stuff like this so I can record. Um, anytime, though, you see a hacker report, if I'm not talking, that usually means that I'm not at home recording that. Uh, those videos are... If there's no commentary, those videos are usually me just uh, playing at a friend's house or something like that. Or an after-school activity. One of them, I'm pretty sure, the Mindplex uh, hacker that I had, like, band plays on. Uh, ah, fudge. That was at Robotics, uh, before Robotics started, so that was good. Alright, keep going. I think we're almost home. This is gonna suck having to try to find like a temple or something. Oh no! I don't think we caught ourselves. I think I still took that fall damage. I ate it just so badly. What is that? Is that like surface? That is, that's in dustite, like on the surface, huh? Never seen that before unless it was in like a mountainous area. I mean, yeah, right here it's kind of a mountainous area, but that was in a forest looking biome. So I want to say we're at the mountain that's right outside of our little area, but I'm not 100% certain. And I'm <laughs> certain. I'm pretty sure that mountain that I said, I bet 50 bucks it was Mordor. It wasn't Mordor. Because Mordor was rather close to my home. Yeah, I really need to change that cape. I really do. For some reason, though, it doesn't pop up in Labby Mod. I don't understand why. Like, I'll have Labby Mod and it'll have Optifine, but I don't see it. It's, it's really weird. I know, I know, comprehend. Maybe you have to donate to get a Labby Mod cape. I don't know. That would suck. I mean, this compass texture is pretty cool. I wish it was 3D, though. Could you imagine a 3D compass? Uh, okay, so we're home. Yay! <laughs> it took a while for that to register. Just in time for imminent death. Great. So we need to go restock on food. Alright, so eat something. We can now make a bed, which is the good part. Um, food, door, why you no shut? Actually, yeah, just pile that in there. You go in there too. So what do you care? It's, um, I want to make arrows, but I don't have, do I have gravel? I do. I do have gravel. And I do have shovel, so let's do that real quick. So I can get a nice enchanted bow. Stepping on our face. Oh god, I'm tired above everything. That's a nice view from up here of the place. I'm thinking about adding a bunch of stuff. I don't really know what. Maybe like a dock. Yeah, I should add a dock for fishing. Alright, we got one... We got one flint out of that. Keep going until I get enough, though, to make some arrows. Cause I could use them. You're not gonna give me one. Are you kidding? I just. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I almost walked off into that. That would have been bad. Yes, gave me one more. I wish there was like a sifter where you could just sift through it. You didn't have to keep re-digging it. I know that's in uh, like a mod for 
survival crash landing or something like that. Yeah, survival crash landing. Or crash landing survival. I don't know if you could sift through gravel, though, per se. I know you could sift through, like, sand and dirt and stuff. Come on, just give me some more flint. Alright guys, so I'm going to be making my bow now, and I'm going to be enchanting it with all ten... What the hell? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm pretty sure a uh, C-130 just flew over ahead of us. Well, me. Alright, so I've got all this. How many arrows? Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, so we got a lot of arrows. Could always get more flint, but for right now, that's good enough. Alright. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, I don't know what it is, but every day this week, it's been doing this, and it hurts really bad. Oh, I'm going to need to get more wood. Okay, so, time to enchant it with every level we can. I keep forgetting I need lapis to do this. Oh, it's killing me right there. Alright. Boom, boom. Why can't we get one of these? Huh? Oh, because it's going to take... 10 levels. Alright, well, let's just get all the lapis then. Just put it all in there, see what happens. Hmm? What? Okay, why would I waste two levels? Okay, what we're gonna do instead is I'm gonna get my axe, go collect a bunch of wood, and then I'm gonna retry. I'm gonna try to enchant it again once I build a room for the table with bookshelves. See you guys in a few seconds. Alrighty guys, so we are back and I have added the oh power two. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, but power one. Mm. Level requirement fourteen. Still gonna be fourteen. Okay, so I'm gonna kill some mobs and get level fourteen. Or should I breed cows and then kill a few cows? I think I should breed and then kill but we added that little area down there with the enchant table. I'm also making a patio type thing. So that'll be good. So here we go. Got all that done. Any more wheat? No? Okay. One, two, three, four. Come on. Four of you. Need four of you. Sweet. Thank you. Now I'm sorry to do this, but most of you, some of you need to die in the name of experience. I'm going to reduce your population down to two. Oh no, why would he do this? He he fed us so good, now he's just slaughtering every last one of us. Oh, it's such a travesty. Okay, I killed some of them, but that didn't really equate to what I was hoping, so I guess we're going to go mine coal. Great. I hate having to mine coal. Uh, can we MLG water bucket? I don't know. What? Can we? Can we? Can we? Oh, we did. Oh. GG. GG on the MLG. I just need three levels coal. I know I know you can do it. I mean, I know I need you to smelt stuff, so this is going to help me in two ways. Oh, there it is. Twelve levels. Two more. Come on. I just need, I just need two, man. That's all I need. Grab this iron while I'm here. Oh, there's so much of it. Ah, more levels. I need more. Alrighty, we are back again. And I now have enough stuff to do the power to... Wait, what? I had to gain 14 levels just to unlock it. But, hey, it's power to. So we're going to keep this bow nice and safe. That bow is going to be used for the getting it upgrade all the way to as high as we can. And that bow will eventually be used to fight the Ender Dragon. So, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And... 
Comment uh, your thoughts on me. Oh, the 3D of this. Oh, this is going to kill me. Oh, my God. I'm just noticing everything 3D about it, like, really at random times. So, anyways, comment what you guys think about me editing this to be a kiwi pack, whether I should do it or not, and make potatoes look like kiwis or something weird like that. I just I just want to do it so bad, make my own pa texture pack. But for now, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.